Leaked emails just exposed that Shell took part in a massive bribery scheme, which robbed the Nigerian people of a billion dollars. In 2011, oil companies Shell and Eni set up a deal in Nigeria for drilling rights to one of Africa's biggest oil fields. But the money was paid to a convicted money launderer and ex-oil minister, depriving the country of money equivalent to more than the 2016 healthcare budget. In public, Shell CEO Ben Van Buren has claimed the payment was a settlement with the Nigerian government. Instead, the money went to private pockets. Leaked emails, seen by Global Witness, show that Shell executives knew this and understood the money could be used for paying people off. According to prosecutors, millions of dollars were paid to Nigeria's most powerful politicians, one of whom spent a chunk of it on armoured cars, luxury shotguns and a private jet. The emails reveal Shell execs talking about politicians on the take and an attempt to deliver significant revenue to GLJ. GLJ stands for Good Luck Jonathan, president of Nigeria at the time. Publicly, Shell still denies it did anything wrong, but the emails prove it knew money was going to private pockets, not the Nigerian people. Right now, five million Nigerians face starvation. This $1.1 billion payment is one and a half times what the UN says is needed to respond to the current famine crisis. Only by exposing the truth can we bring Shell to justice and stop oil companies robbing people of what's rightfully theirs. Share to expose.